Welcome Libra. This is your June 2019 general love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Libra. Please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable, so it can go vice versa. Also, this reading will not resonate with everyone, so if it does not fit your scenario, please don't try to make it fit. It just means the messages were important for um, somebody else to hear, okay? All right, also, I know a lot of you have been e emailing me about personal readings, and um, I am in the process of setting them up. I have been going through a lot of uh, personal issues right now, and so I'm hoping by next week I can put all the information um, in the description box there. Also, uh, as I was meditating on your energy, um, it's kind of funny, you guys are like in this mode of somebody owes you something. <laughs> and it was funny because I was shuffling before this and I got the <laughs> Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, and Five of Pentacles. So it's like, you know somebody owes you a good what for, meaning they either owe you an apology for either leaving you left out of something or, you know, ghosting you, but you feel somebody needs to come to you, and the energy that you have right now is you don't care. You are like, no, I know my worth, and if you can't come to me, then I am moving on. So, one more shuffle. So, let's see what's going on. Let's get some moonology um, messages for you with the new moon and all the energy exchanges. Let's get some messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. One more. Ooh, got a lot. Okay. All right, let's start off with this. We have Prosperity Lies Ahead and Meditate and Contemplate. All right, so things are shifting, yes. Uh, prosperity is coming um, towards you, um, but the universe is asking you to please meditate on this and, you know, mull it over. Uh, contemplate what you really do want um, out of this situation. And I think it's because emotions are running high, okay? So... You know, somebody, or actually, I'm sorry, I just heard both of you on each side. So, both sides, you know, are upset. Um, this was really an intense, high energy um, relationship. And something happened that made you guys really, um, really upset. Okay? Um, last, we have your dreams need a practical plan and take time to breathe out. That's so funny because I just took a long, hard breath because that's what I was feeling. I didn't even look at this card yet. All right, so if you do want to move forward or whatever prosperity is coming towards you, to make this decision, you need to put it into practical terms. So what can you, what can you do with what you have at the current moment, okay? What is possible with what you do have and make it work, you know? If that means, you know, waiting a little while longer or, you know, if this person lives at a distance because they just heard um, so far away. So, you know, somebody could live at a distance and if it takes more time and sacrificing that, then that's what it, that's what it takes. All right. That's for a select few. Not everyone lives at a distance, but that was a message for someone. Okay. person also might have a moon in Taurus. Um, yeah, I'm really seeing that. Okay, last one. Thank you very much. Let's get just get right into it and see what's going on. That's crazy. This Every time I cut the deck to pre-shuffle, it was always the fool. 
So, yeah, you guys are like, I'm ready to take on a new adventure. I'm ready for something new. You know, if this person can't, you know, step up to the plate, if they can't, if they can't understand and realize what they've done wrong and apologize or give me some kind of understanding of where they're coming from, then I'm better than that. And I really don't care. I'm just, I'm just going to take that leap of faith and move forward. I want a new beginning. I want to start something new. Okay. So let's see where you guys are at right now. Where is Libra at? So right now you guys are, you know, I'm getting the feeling. So you guys are like stressed out. You are really concerned about your future. You know, it's like right now you are wanting, um, a lot of you aren't married, you know. Or if you are married, you're stressed out about your marriage and your home, style, home life and um, maybe possibly the lavish things around it or losing it. But that's just for a few. The other, the other ones, for the other ones that aren't in a marriage, you are stressed out about the future. You know, you're worried, like, when am I going to get married? When am I going to have the house? When, you know, I, I want to get married, so I'm, I'm just seeing a plan. I've had these, these dreams to get married, buy a house, then have kids, you know, the whole shebang. And this is stressing you out, you know. You're not understanding why nothing's worked out for you uh, in the past. Why you can't quite get people to commit or you always pick the same person. Um, that doesn't match what your it doesn't match your energy it does they don't match what you truly want the only problem is is the energy that you're projecting is not quite the energy that's coming to you because you're not projecting the energy that's actually matching what you want and I'm sorry I hate to say that but that's the message that spirits giving me all right let me see the nine of swords Yeah, it's like nothing's ever worked out, you know, you're upset that this cycle has ended, that um, this didn't work out, and I'm getting this for a general sense though, like this has been several relationships and you're not, you don't understand why things haven't panned out the way you want you know it feels like here that you're so worried because you see everyone else um, everyone else is getting married and you know having fun with their life and have making families and you're just like why, why not me why am I still single or why why does mine never work let's see what your person is doing right now in regards to you what is Libra's person doing right now in regards to them? Gosh, every sign's gotten like the Four of Cups. Almost. So, this person that you are dealing with, okay, they are very stubborn. And I say that because they actually realize your worth. They see you that you are nurturing, you are sweet, you're kind, you're fair, yet you're beautiful, and you have the world at your fingertips. Um, you'd make a perfect mother, you'd make a perfect wife, okay? But they're ignoring this. They're like, you know, they don't want it. It's really sad. Also, some of them are just trying to nurture their um, finances right now, really. And they don't want to think about love at the moment because they're too busy, you know, worrying about their finances and trying to take care of it and, you know, maintain their checkbook. Four cups. 
why. It's one of those six of swords. Yeah, there seems to be like a lack of passion here. With the six of swords and the king of king of wands. Something's happened where there's been this person has changed their tune. They feel like, you know, they're the ones that should be pined after. Like, you should be longing for them. Um, this person also might be the type of person that likes aggressive types. Um, ones that seek out them and never stop. They never give up. Yeah, but you're not that type of person. You're the, you're the same way. You're like, no, if someone's interested in me, they come to me, they talk to me like a normal person, we communicate, and then, you know, it's about what's being, what's fair. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over being sick. <clears throat> so let's see how this person feels about you. Blah. So either this person... This person or you, it could be vice versa. But somehow this person felt like games were being played, mind games. And they felt like they couldn't handle it anymore. They tried to work together. This could be you though. This really could be you. Because of the air sign. Um, also, um, that's bothered them. They feel a little bit, um, played with, but what I don't like here is how they feel is they actually feel like they want to win you over, but not in a good way. Like almost they want to get you back. They want to play, play with your heart a little bit offer you up something. They do want it to actually progress, but they kind of want to put that little sting in there. Playing a game, so... Hmm. What action does this person want to take? We got the Nine of Pentacles again. Tell about the Seven of Wands, please. Yeah, this person in the month of June. Right now, they just, they're defensive. They don't want, they're, you, you guys might even be blocked right now from speaking to them or talking to them on social media. Some of you might be blocked because they don't want you to come towards them. They feel very trapped in their head, but they feel like, you know, they can't see a way how this is going to work out. Although, the weird thing is, and a lot of signs have been getting this, like the dual duality, you know, because they still do have this. So right now, they're just, to me, they're, they're butthurt right now. That's literally what it is. They're upset. They feel like something's been pulled over their eyes. They've been played with. They're a little upset about it. They're kind of throwing a little pity party here. But this is what um, action they're also taking. You know? So they know that they want this. They want this ground, you know, they want to offer you something grounded. Uh, they do, you know, look at you as if you are, you know, a celeb, like, not a celebrity, but... Like, you are the star, you know? You're the star of the show. You're the person that walks in the room and everyone just gawks over. You're the person that can, you know, walk into a crowded room and talk to anyone and everyone loves you. And you're the star to them, too. You know, you shine bright in their life. So they do want to offer this, but this is slow. Uh, slowest moving night, you know? Slow and steady wins the race, this kid. But for the month of June, I don't see anything, uh, really any communication. 
but um, we'll see how it progresses in July. But they're just like kind of butthurt right now. They really are kind of being kind of childish because they're blocking you from coming towards them, which really tells me, you know, some of you might be blocked, like physically, like they may have blocked your phone number, they may have blocked you on Facebook, they may have blocked you on, you know, other social media sites. So let's see what the outcome is for the month of June. What's the outcome of this for the month of June, please? Thank you. Okay, so that's weird because the outcome is Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. So that means either you both come to a conclusion that you are happy where you're at. You both feel like you've been victorious in this, both playing each other. And you guys both know you mutually feel the same. And you're okay with just sitting there and knowing that. Or there's actually been something that's happened. Tell me about the six of wands. I'll find out. Tell me about the six of wands. Why? High Priestess. Something secretive, unknown, possibly in your intuition. Mm. So you guys are both fooling each other. <laughs> I just realized because you guys both look at each other as soulmates. Like, or you know in your intuition this you guys are meant for each other. You're gonna return. Like you're both acting the same way almost like, you know, I don't care. They have to come to me and that person's like, I don't care. You know, I'll come when I want to come. But because we're gonna be together no matter what. I, I have the inner knowing. You know. So I'm about the King of Pentacles. So really, no, there is no speaking. It's the inner knowing. It's knowing, yeah, with judgment here. It's like you guys know when, you know, you know that it's coming. You got two cups chariots. The five of wands. Yeah. Because this person with the five of wands. So there's it's like stopping the chariot. In the month of June, it's like that chariot's ready to go. You know, it's sitting there, it's getting ready to go, but there's a block. And this person wants, yeah, that new adventure with you, that new start. They have passion for you. But they're just kind of conflicted right now. And towards in the whole outcome uh, in the month of June is, you know, I see it, this might hit J July. Or it might hit August, because this is an August card. But somewhere in the summer, you might get communication, but we're going to see where this goes uh, for the month of July. I don't really see communication. If you guys do receive it... Oh. Oh, okay. They, I just heard some, so some of you do know you guys are soulmates. You guys are kind of mirroring each other, but you're playing off each other. So it's kind of like a little game. But what I heard is some of you may speak to each other uh, energetically, or you guys might speak to each other telepathically. Um, and so you guys both have the inner knowing of this. And... It's like you guys know when um, things will progress. 
So that's maybe why I just felt this confident feeling, you know, I really felt this confidence, you know, you had the Queen of Wands and this little page of cups and you're like, no. All right. What's the challenge now? I just want to see one thing. Yeah, the challenge is you guys both played with each other's hearts or one person played while the other one worked. So it hurt the other person. So somebody may have worked a lot. And um, there's two scenarios here. So someone may have worked a lot and which hurt the other person. And then the other one played with the other person's heart. And then um, somebody, the other, the other story could be, because um, I'm seeing different scenarios here. Um, this person didn't want to work, put too much effort in, didn't want to work on it, and the other person just wanted to play around, okay? So, wherever that fits or resonates with you, you know, take it, take it or leave it, but, you know, with this as the challenge, you know, it's, it's not, not a lot of effort uh, being put in as the challenge. Because I just kind of wanted to see what really happened. Why are you guys playing games with each other? And now I see why you guys kind of both did the same thing to each other, but in a different way. It's like tit for tat. Oh, I just heard some of you have had... Uh, just the way that you spoke to each other intellectually or conversations or one um, competing because I heard I heard competition so I don't know if you guys competed like who is the best at this who is the best at that all right let's get a door for you guys to walk through from the universe whoa all right they're telling me one more there spirit <laughs> all right so you got begin here all right do not fear what travel brings my dear the moment is yours begin now here yeah I felt there was um, some of you that possibly live farther far away from each other could be some distance and uh, you know, all of this tit for tat or com competition could be fear because uh, you guys both fear that, um, you know, not, not enough love was put into the situation on each side. But even though you may feel like you put a lot in on your side, I'm just, I'm not saying that you didn't, but the other person also feels like that. So whatever resonates, you know, you all have different situations and you know your situation. So you have divine guardian. I don't know why that glares there. there. All right. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Exactly. So even though you guys are acting like kind of tough, you know that everything's going to be all right. I am seeing here that you guys, you know, are stressed out. You do, you are not stressed out like extremely, but just nervous, you know. And the universe is asking you to not be nervous, that everything will be made just right. Let me get you the messages for you to leave with here from the spiritual cup. I don't know why these keep falling. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2019. What do we have for them, spirits? What do you want to tell Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do you want to tell Libra?
Okay, let's get you three messages from Spirit here to leave you for the month of June. Yeah, you guys are fearful. You guys are putting on a facade. It seems like you guys all uh, trying to hide it. <laughs> all right. So you have the butterfly, fear, and trust. So with the butterfly, everything will be made right again, okay? Um, the way that it should be, kind of like the door. Hold on. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Kind of like the door that we read, okay? But the universe is asking you to have trust and faith, okay? Like, release your fear and know that this can blossom if you release the fear and the baggage and trust the situation. You know, this can blossom uh, into a beautiful butterfly, you know? Right now, it's just a chrysalis, so... Um, the universe is just asking you to have faith, all right? Release that fear. You know, because those games, I'm feeling like, you know, the way you guys are acting or they're acting towards you, they're doing it for a specific reason to kind of get back at you because they feel like, felt like they were played with too, but, you know, it's, it's, it's unnecessary because you guys both feel the same way and only you're going to know. <laughs> I hope people resonate with this one because... This one's kind of crazy, but I wish you guys the best anyways, and I hope you guys have a great month of June. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've given me. You guys have been wonderful, and uh, I will see you in a couple weeks for um, some more readings, and let's see where this, this heads, you know, where this goes. But um, you guys have a great day. Many blessings to you, okay? All right, bye.